Hey everyone, it's Jet back today with another mount video and today I'm going to show you how to get the smoldering ember worm mount and this is a legion mount It's a secret legion mount and it drops from the return to Karazhan uh, Dungeon and that is located in the Deadwind Pass um, The entrance is right on the side of the main entrance of Karazhan Now the drop rate on this is 20% if you do it solo, which is really easy to do now, especially two expansions ahead. But it increases by 20% for each member that you bring. So the best thing to do and to guarantee a 100% drop rate is if you have four guild members that want to help you out, especially if they have it, if they already have the mount, uh, this mount won't drop for them. It'll only drop for you. So if four people that you know have it and you bring it, bring them here to do this. Uh, it's a hundred percent drop rate. So the main thing is is this has to be run on mythic So we'll change our dungeon here to mythic um, And if you're gonna do it solo you can only run it once a week Per tune so just keep that in mind Now in this video, I'm just going to show you the exact route to take um, So this video might be kind of lengthy. I will probably pause it during some of the role playing but besides that uh let's get to it and try to get a mount because i don't have this mount so now the object of this mount is you want to pick up a bunch of crystals and each of them have a time limit between each crystal now your time doesn't start until you open the door here so when we open the door here, you'll notice we'll get a thing in chat called a strange chill of darkness presence, uh, present winds through the air. That's how you know the timer starts. Now you don't have a buff here or, or anything like that that shows you, but you do have to get to the first crystal by eight minutes, which is plenty of time. So when you come through the door, you want to hang a right and you want to go up these stairs here. And enter this room. Now when you enter this room here, you just want to just stay to the right hand side and you'll notice till you get to some stairs. Now most of these mobs are, are really easy, uh, just a one shot if you run into some problems. So you'll notice these stairs here and what you want to do is you would just want to jump down these stairs here. And when you get to the bottom, you just want to head due, due north here to the end of this hallway. And when you come to the end of the hallway here, you'll notice another door and you just want to go through that. So we'll go through that and that takes us to the, the opera house stage here. And what you want to do is you want to talk to Barnes. Now Barnes will um, summon different mobs. It, it really depends. But the first crystal we want is right here on this stage right here. So after uh, we kill this boss, this door will open. And that's where we want to proceed to. to so, this when this bo boss pops up, uh, I'll be right back because this is some role playing and it takes a couple of minutes. All right, so he did all his role playing, and the first boss is here. Now, this first boss is kind of important because you don't want to kill him too fast. I just let my dots take care of it because sometimes when you kill it too fast, it bugs out. And, um,. And you have to leave. <laughs> it's not good. So luckily for us, it didn't bug out. So after you kill the first boss, this door will open. And you just want to proceed through there. And when you get in this room here, you want to take the first door on the left. And just head to the back here. And when you get to this wall, you want to hang another left. And in here, you'll notice some backup singers. It's so you just want to fight your way through these. Come, my love. Off to our happily ever after. And go through this door and up this ramp right here. Now, when you get in this place here, you want to hang a right. And you'll notice our first crystal right there. So when you click this crystal, you'll get a buff up here. 
And it's a 10 minute buff. And it's called the Medivh's Echo. Now when you pick up this crystal, you got 10 minutes to get to the next crystal. So when you pick this one up, you want to head due north right here. I need to get closer. Into this room. It's too far away. So in this room, you'll notice another door right here and you want to enter this door right here come down this hallway and this is where the maiden of virtue boss is but you don't want to kill her even though I mean if you want to you can because you'll have plenty of time nine minutes is plenty of time but right before you you reach her there'll be a room here on the left and you just want to come in here and you'll notice the crystal in the back So we'll click our second crystal here and now you'll notice our buff will go to two stacks and now we have 14 minutes. So we want to come back the way uh, that we came in. So we'll just backtrack the whole way till we get to the main room here. And when you get in this main room you just want to head back to the back backhand corner right back here. And when you get here, you want to jump down. The master hasn't been himself for quite some time. Perhaps and you'll notice a boss here called Moro Moros. You want to kill him. Sometimes he bugs out too, if you kill him too fast. So, uh, just be careful. And right behind the table here is another crystal. So we want to click this and this will give us three stacks here. So now we got 18 minutes to get to the the next crystal. Now you notice Mor Morass here dropped uh, some keys, some rusty keys, so you want to pick those up also. So after you kill Morass, you'll notice a room back here in the left, and you want to enter that room right there. And then when you enter here, you just want to hang a right and you want to go down the stairs here. This will take us to the basement. Now here, whenever you come into the opening of this basement, if you hang a right here, there's another boss right here called Midnight. And he he drops a mount too. So if you want to go do that, you can because you'll have plenty of time. you got 17 minutes, which is plenty of time. We're going to skip it for the purpose of our video. But you want to hang a left here and you'll notice an a doorway right here and you want to come in here and this is like the spider room so what you want to do is you want to come back here to the spider room and that's where the next crystal will be well you can notice the crystal right there So we'll click this. This will give us our fourth buff here. So buff for 21 minutes. Now what you want to do is you want to just click this teleporter here. This portal. And this will take us back to the beginning of the entrance. Now when you get to this part here, you want to hang a left. And you'll notice some stairs going up. This ramp right here. So you just want to follow this ramp all the way up until you get to the curator boss. come through that door and you'll notice more stairs right here so we're gonna go all the way up here and then we'll come to this room here this is how you know you're probably you're doing it right because this is the room you want this is where the curator is located in this area right here so if you see these abstract uh 
mobs, then you know you're in the right place. So once you come through this door, you'll notice on the left here, Curator will be patrolling and you want to kill him. The menagerie is for... Eradicate! Eradicate! So when you kill him, you'll notice uh, the last crystal drops right in between his feet. Now when you get the, when you loot this crystal, you'll notice our buff will change here. And it'll change to Medivh's presence. Now Medivh's presence says you have gained greater if short-lived short insight into Medivh's mind and past. And you got five minutes now to find to go to Medivh, which what you want to do is you want to backtrack. To where we were going up those stairs, but the good thing about the stairs is we can just jump down from those stairs. So. So we're right back here where we went up all these stairs. So we'll just jump down there and we'll jump down here and this takes us right back to where we came out of the portal here so when we came out of the portal we took a left here and went up the ramp to the curator and what you want to do is underneath this ramp is another doorway you want to come underneath the doorway here to this terrace area of Karazan and this is where Medivh is located so, Medivh's right here, you want to talk to him, and he'll, you'll be like, Medivh, is that you? Now, you'll also get an achievement called One Night in Karazan, so that's good if you're an achievement hunter. Now, we're going to pause this because this takes about a minute for him to um, talk with this image of this dragon. So, whenever the dragon w turns into Nightbane, uh, we'll come back and uh, hopefully kill it and get our mount. You so the role playing is about done, and this is very important. Uh, he'll turn into night to Nightbane. Now, what you want to do is you want to really kill him as quick as you can while he's on the ground, because once he takes flight, um, whenever he takes flight and you kill him while he's in the air, and sometimes when he drops, you can't loot him. Now, if that happens, all you got to do is exit the dungeon, and uh, they'll mail you uh, the loot if that happens to you so we'll loot him here see if we get our mount unfortunately we didn't so our 20 percent today was not really that good but that's how you get the smoldering ember worm mount and the route to take to pick up the crystals so hope this video helped and good luck with your mount farming and collecting